Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Uh, we are working on Ron's engine right here. And like everything on this engine, we're having trouble getting these lifters in. Now, like I said, Ron had brought a whole bunch of new old stock parts. You see I got those first three lifters in. Tappets, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I got the back one in. <clears throat> um, the tappets don't fit in the factory hole. Uh, this this tappet bore right here is exactly 625, 5 eighths of an inch. Uh, tappets are usually uh, 623, 623 and a half. Now, for some reason, the tappets that Ron sent are 625. It's size for size. So, um, uh, we have to enlarge those holes a little bit. Uh, I mean, I'm going to show you a tappet, uh, and, and you see, well, let me show you one here. That's hard to see, but tappet's going, going up and down. See that? That is a good fit. Okay. Um, but I can't even get the tappets in. I'm going to show you one next. Okay, here we're going to try and get this tapping in right here. Okay, that's stuck. I cannot push that in there. Um, eh, I got it down too far. Oops. Okay, so we can see they're not fitting. Now I've measured all these tappets, and they're they're 625 uh, right in the center here. Uh, a little bit smaller here, and then they get full 625 right there. <clears throat> There's a reason some things became new old stock. Uh, a lot of things got rejected, but they still went on the shelf under new old stock. Um, now tappets come 623, uh, and then they come 4 thousandths over, uh, and they usually measure 628, uh, and you put them in a 630 uh, hole. Uh, now we're going to have to go after the rest of these holes here. I tried all the tappets and all the holes, and, and just nothing's working for me. So I have my um, lapping sleeve set up, and we're going to lap those holes, and we are going to precision fit every tappet in here. Uh, now you do use some uh, um, cutting compound, so this is going to ruin the engine for, for cleanliness, so it's going to have to go outside and get washed again. And like I say, you, you take two steps forward and one step back on this engine, it's just, it, it really is a mess. So uh, let's, uh, I'll show you the, uh, the lapping stick and then show you how it gets used. Okay guys, this is the tool we're going to use. <clears throat> uh, this is for, for lapping things and, and precision sizing stuff. Now we've got a tapered mandrel right there. And I hope you can see it. The sleeve has got a slit in it. And as it goes up as you press it up here that'll expand that'll get bigger um, so that's how you, you size a hole uh, I've got an extension on a drill and stuff uh, but you have to use some lapping compound on them and uh, let's see if you can see that I'm using just your standard uh, clover silicone carbide uh, lapping compound I'm using a 120 grit I've got a bunch of different grits from 80 all the way up to 400, depending on what you're doing. Uh, we got to take uh, at least one and a half out of here to get that tappet in there. So I'm going with a 120, and um, uh, this stuff like this shouldn't have to happen, uh, but it does, and uh, there's nothing you can do about it. So we've got to get all these precision fit, and we got to get the engine back outside. Uh, get some uh, soap and detergent and a pressure washer in there and, and give it another cleaning because there's no way uh, this stuff is so gritty there's no way we can uh, we can just clean that without really going after it with the pressure washer so uh, let's get to honing and uh, I'll show you how they fit okay guys I'm gonna try and get you in there I got a little bit of uh, compound slathered around the hole there I'm gonna put a little bit on the tool I'm going to try and do this without getting in the way of the camera. OK, 
Okay, that was like seven strokes. It happens pretty fast. Um, you could size these uh, just like I'm doing here. Uh, when I have to fit oversize uh, four thousandths when there's a hole damaged or something and I have to put the four thousandths oversize tappets in there, uh, I start with this um, mandrel setup and then I got one that's a little bit bigger and uh, it takes a while but it gives the best finish I don't like to get in there with a reamer or anything uh, I do like to lap these uh, it just works the best for me and uh, this is how we're gonna get that to fit okay guys got just uh, we clean the hole best we could just put a rag got a little bit of lube on here Okay, see that fit we got there? Hope I'm not getting in the way. That is a good tappet fit. When this is cleaned out and, and there's not any more grit in there, that's going to be a perfect fit. So, like I say, everything has been a nuisance on this engine. But there's only really one way we're going to save it, and that's to, to not you know hammer these guys in there. I mean, look at that. That, that guy is... I'm hitting on that thing and it's not moving. So, Ron, I don't know where these tappets actually came from, but um, they're measuring a little too big. So, uh, like I say, this is something that needs to be done. And uh, I'll get them all precision fit for you. Okay guys, all the tappets are in. I've got everyone fitting like I want it to. And if you do find, like I say, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff out there that's just a hair oversized. If you do find you have snug tappets, uh, don't put them in. You want them sliding up and down like this. Uh, now this isn't even fully clean yet, but that's a precision fit right there these are sliding perfectly there's no play so you can't feel any play side to side um, and that's that's just exactly how they should be um, now I have gotten engines in here before that the um, the tappets were a mess because they were just hammered in so tight and then the the valves everything was moving and the springs and everything and the pressure on them and it was just it was just galling them up so uh, that's what happens. A lot of times you got to go four thousands bigger because somebody puts an engine together incorrectly. Um, <clears throat> now I tried these valves in. Ah, there I go again, getting crazy. The tappets. I tried these tappets in Ron's original engine that he had rebuilt from that other guy. They did not fit in there either. Like I say, I measured them. They're six twenty-five. You can't have a six twenty-five tappet and a six twenty-five hole, and there's there's no room for for oil, uh, lube, anything, uh, it's going to fail. So if you can't drop your tappets in your engine and you have to put them in with a hammer, uh, you're setting yourself up uh, for failure. Uh, now I know there's a lot of guys that would have taken these, just hammered them in and, and said, oh, they'll break in. That is not the case. You are going to ruin the tappet. So, um, now just a shorty for today, I just wanted to show you the process of actually lapping the holes to get the tappet to fit and that's how you do it and uh, like I say that's how I do it when I um, put four thousandths over tappets in there uh, it's just a process uh, you could do it with a hand drill you could do it in a seat and guide machine you could do it in a drill press you could do it anywhere you want but um, that is the process of lapping tappets into a Willys engine